morning. I want to congratulate Sherry Purvis and her unit. Sherry, your witness will affect generations to come. And to Marsha Morissette and the Mighty Morissettes. My friends, you are the epitome of Mary Kay Gogiev. If you've not had the pleasure of meeting Marsha yet, you're about to hear the next best thing to Mary Kay Ash speak shortly. And to my good friend Paula Kelch and her amazing unit, who truly was a whisper behind the Mesmerizer unit. I love you. First and foremost, I want to say thanks be to God and to Mary Kay Ash for this beautiful journey. And to the Mesmerizer unit, my heartfelt thanks and gratitude to you. I stand on this stage representing each of you and your part in our success story. Together we share a love for this company, this opportunity, and this product. Together we are a supportive group of professional, positive, and others-focused individuals whose personal goals are contributing in a big way to the goals of our unit and our company in our quest to be the best of the best. Leading the way in sales this year while locking down her seventh time in the National Board of Sales, future sales director Ruth Collar. Leading the way in team building was Madeline Monty, who just debuted as an independent sales director on July 1st. Would all of the Mesmerizer unit please stand and be recognized? Mary Kay found me as a very shy and introverted college student who was also preparing to get married in four months and move out of state. I fell in love with this product that did more for my oily, acne-prone skin in a few weeks than all six years of doctoring. In my follow-up appointment with my consultant, did you catch that? In my follow-up appointment with my consultant, those are really important, you should do those. I shared how great it would be to be able to help other young people not grow up the same way that I did, with challenged self-confidence and self-esteem just because of imperfect skin. Madonna said, Kim, have you ever considered doing what I do? And I said, oh no way, I could never, I'm way too shy. She said, do you always want to be that way? Well, obviously I bought the starter kit. <laughs> when going through new consultant orientation and attending weekly success meetings, I was all in. I had read that Mary Kay Ash said, the banana that separates itself from the bunch gets skinned. I didn't want to get skinned by not taking part in the beginning education process. I wanted to be prepared when the opportunity presented itself for me to help those young people with their skin challenges. Well, guess what happened? I fell in love with the wonderful world of Mary Kay. Everywhere I looked, there were positive, enthusiastic, kind, faith-filled, and successful people. I fell in love with Mary Kay Ash and her story. I wanted to be a part of her vision of enriching others' lives, and I wanted to be a contributor in her successful company. Now, I had no idea how I was going to do that, since I was mostly too afraid to ask and offer my products and services to others. I remember putting a Mary Kay sticker in my car window and just driving around, driving around, looking for women that were doing this because they needed Mary Kay. No, that was not effective. Fast forward about eight months, I took Mark to his first major Mary Kay event. On the drive home, he said, Kim, did you know that you could make great money in Mary Kay? <laughs> and I said, yes. After a short pause, he said, well, Kim, we're newlyweds and we need your income. You either need to work this business that you claim to love so much, you need to go back to school and figure out what it is that you want to be when you grow up, or you need to go get a real job. Now, he says, I didn't say it like that, but that's how I received it. <laughs> well, I thought about those choices, and it didn't take me long to know that it was Mary Kay. God put me here for a reason, and it was up to me to get myself out of the way. It was time to stop thinking about Mary Kay, which usually only produced more fear, which we all know is just false evidence appearing real, right? And it was time to start acting. Only in acting do we build the skill which builds the confidence 
which grows our vision to be more and do more than we ever thought we could. To help me move beyond myself, I found a poem that I put on my goal poster and I recited multiple times a day. And it said, I did the thing I feared the most. Excuse me while I cheer. Now here I stand, a stronger soul, and all I've lost is fear. One year after that ultimatum from Mark, I took delivery of my first career car. I averaged 10 to 12 hours in the field each week, including a weekly success meeting, where I usually took guests and did makeovers beforehand. Mary Kay called that working smart and not hard. One face at a time, I built something that took on a life of its own. It doesn't matter if you have four hours per week or 40 hours per week. Be all in with the hours that you do have. Stop waiting to know everything or for everything to be perfect before doing something. Too many people never really get started or don't stay the course because they don't feel they can be perfect. Well, perfection is elusive. Decide to be perfect in action, doing something, not perfect in inaction. Today I'm still motivated most by helping others in my space, but my purpose is so much bigger and broader now. I have such a desire to help others grow spiritually, personally, and financially, not just as so many mentors on my journey have done for me. Mark and I have four children and one amazing grandson. Those young adults are very grounded, confident, goal-setting individuals, due in large part to my Mary Kay training. You can't give someone something that you don't possess, and I certainly was not a confident, goal-setting individual before Mary Kay. Thank God for Mary Kay and her vision to help women build more than just a business. Truly, if I had to give back all that I've received over the course of my Mary Kay career, but was allowed to keep just one thing, I would keep me and the person I've grown into over the years. I shudder to think how differently our children might have grown up to be had I not found my way into this pink bubble. They may have learned confidence, goal setting, and a strong sense of who they are from someone else, but it would not have been for me. Both of our daughters are a part of Mary Kay. And I can't help but know Mary Kay Ash is smiling down from heaven to see the generations of lives that her dream has affected. Our oldest daughter, Laura Sherman, couldn't wait to be an independent consultant. In fact, she insisted on purchasing her starter kit when she turned 18. Her first sale was to her high school principal for administrative gifts. Wow. Laura went on to weave her business in and out of college life. She graduated with honors in three and a half years, but knew by the end that she really didn't want to pursue a teaching career. After graduating and completing student teaching, she put her Mary Kay business in high gear and became an independent sales director. She wanted the same freedom, flexibility, and income stability that she saw growing up in a Mary Kay household. Laura is driving her second career car, and she is loving being a work-from-home mom. Our daughter, Madeline Monty, always knew that she'd be a part of Mary Kay someday. She just never thought it would be during college, like Laura and myself. So right before Thanksgiving, her freshman year in college, I received a call from her. She was talking a mile a minute, and she was super excited. And she said, Mom, You'll never guess where I was tonight. I was at a Mary Kay party. <laughs> she said my friends were going and asked me if I wanted to go along. Mom, it was so cool. I mean, I learned so much. I mean, I've never been to one of those before. <laughs> she said my friend signed up to be a consultant tonight. And I realized, there really is no good time to get started. So when I'm home next week, sign me up. <laughs> I was still stuck on it, but I'd never been to one of those before. <laughs> Thank you, sales director Deanna Manning, for introducing my daughter to a Mary Kay party. <laughs> and for me. 
Madeline earned her first career car at the end of April. She graduated on May 6th as the number one student with a degree in business management and an emphasis on entrepreneurship. She had a blast enlightening, enlightening her professor regarding the amazing business model of Mary Kay. He was beyond impressed. On June 29th, Madeline finished qualifications to become an independent sales director, and she got married two days later on July 12th. I think I'm still tired. Her new husband, Marcus, is here experiencing his first Mary Kay seminar. You know, there's no magic to success in Mary Kay. Continuing to take the next step, and the next step is where you find the magic. Mary Kay Ash always said, remember that all of your goals and all of your desires are of no value unless you put them into action. So keep it simple. What is the next most important thing to act on? Watch what you give voice to. I used to say, I don't care if I ever make a dime in Mary Kay. I just want to hang out with these positive, enthusiastic people forever. Mark made it clear, however, that I most certainly needed to make a dime and then some. <laughs> Truly, everyone needs that kind of a golden boot in their life. We all have stories that we've told ourselves, that we've bought into, that keep us from reaching our dreams and what God has called us to do and become. I believe God put me in Mary Kay for many great reasons, but to be a leader in all areas of my life was a reason I questioned for a very long time, simply because I'm more of an introvert. Every time I took one of those personality tests, my dominant and extroverted traits were by far the lowest on the chart. I bought into the story that dominant and extroverted meant leader. I believed that if Mary Kay were to find out how low my leader score was, they would surely come take my director's suit away. Gratefully, I had a conversation with Kirby Kirkpatrick about 12 years ago, and he set me straight. He asked me to research the last five presidents of the United States at that time, and note that not one of them led with that type of a personality. I am a leader. I just lead with different style. My gifts and my talents are different than what I believed a leader's gifts and talents look like, but they are great and they do work. The yardstick with which I was measuring myself always had me falling short, all because of the false story I had bought into. What stories are you allowing yourself to repeat over and over? You too are called to grow your leadership skills. You may be called to grow so that you can be a great role model for your children and your grandchildren. It may be so that you have the confidence to teach your customers to feel their very best. It may be so that you can lead your own unit and even your own national area one day. What stories are keeping you from realizing your God-given gifts? It's time to drop kick those excuses far away. Our own Mary Kay Ash was the ultimate role model. She was proof of what one woman could do when she put her heart and soul into something bigger than herself. Let's be that role model here from here on out for everyone watching. Let's be that spark that starts some fires this year by choosing to be all in as we take a very active role in helping Mary Kay rank as the number one best-selling brand in this land. I would like to close with the same poem that National Sales Director Emeritus Rena Tarbick closed every workshop to remind us of what we have before us in our starter kit. It's called the Magic Carpet. You have a magic carpet that will take you anywhere to Spain or Maine or Africa, if you'll just tell it where. So will you let it take you where you've never been before? Or will you buy some drapes to match and use it on the floor? The choice is yours. Thank you.